Most people naturally assume that the first building that the Rice Institute built was, was the administration building, which is now called Lovett Hall. But that's not right at all. The first building that we built was a 16 by 16 four square up on pier and beams on six and a half acres down on Louisiana Street. People forget that when William Marsh Rice came up with the idea of the Rice Institute, he wasn't thinking of building you know, a grand university um, out on the edge of town. His idea was that he was going to start um, a training school, a vocational school um, for working class Houston people. So they budgeted uh, $500 for the, the construction of the building. And Captain Baker, who was chairman of the board, was extremely careful with his uh, finances, extremely conservative. So the building came in at $498.71. There aren't any pictures of the building, but there's a drawing, um, you know, a plan for what the building was going to look like. And so the building was completed in the summer of 1898. Um, I don't know how long it stood there. Um, I do know that after William Marsh Rice died, and when his estate was finally settled after years of litigation, the Board of Trustees realized that they had far more money than they had thought they were going to have while Mr. Rice was still alive. And as their vision for the institution began to change, they went out to find a president who could also articulate a vision for a great university. And they brought Edgar O'Dell Lovett from Princeton to make that transition. And that's why most people believe that the first building we ever built was Lovett Hall.